I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. So you chose initially to have hormone therapy to treat your localized prostate cancer, either because of your age, your health, quality of life issues, whatever the reason. And you've been on that hormone therapy for some period of time, and unfortunately your PSA now begins to rise. So what do you do about that? Well, first keep in mind that a slowly rising PSA and a PSA that occurs many years later on is not as dangerous as someone that is rising rapidly and whose PSA has risen within the first few years after undergoing that treatment. And generally, what do we do about that? Well, if you chose to have the hormone therapy because you wanted to avoid the side effects of, say, surgery or radiation, then you're faced with that situation once again because surgery is an option and radiation may be an option depending on your age and your health and the extent of the cancer. Uh, of course, before you would consider having one of those treatments, you would first undergo another prostate biopsy to prove that cancer cells, cells are still in the prostate. But could there be cells elsewhere in the body? And the answer is yes. Is there any way to tell for sure? Unfortunately, no reliable test. When a PSA gets above 10, we will do a bone scan and maybe a CAT scan, but the odds of those tests proving useful is very small. And so we're often faced in this, with the situation of a man whose PSA is rising, who has absolutely no symptoms, and the question is, what do you do and when do you do it? If you decide to be aggressive and say, I want to continue to treat it, well, then we would probably offer you secondary hormone therapies, which can further affect the hormones in your body. Uh, most commonly, we would add an anti-androgen, a pill that blocks the hormones that are coming from the adrenal gland. Most of the hormones in the body come from the testicles, and the injections that you're probably receiving will be doing a good job of taking care of the hormones from the testicles but they do nothing for the hormones coming from the adrenal gland, and we have pills available that will block those hormones from working properly. And so the next option we would consider for a man with a rising PSA after hormone therapy is to give this secondary hormonal approach. And there are a number of agents out there that we can use even if that doesn't work. So even with a rising PSA after hormone therapy, people are going to most likely live for many years. And it's, again, a matter of balancing the risks and the benefits of the various options. The risks of the local therapies I've talked about in other videos. Again, problems with erections, problems with impotence, and problems with urinary control. And so it is something to consider as you work your way through this decision. It's not a decision you have to make right away. You can give some thought to it. There's nothing wrong with repeating the PSA a few times over several months to see how fast is the PSA is rising. Because if the PSA is rising slowly, meaning that it's doubling in 6 to 12 months or longer, there's probably no immediate need to treat that patient. That cancer is progressing very slowly, unless, of course, you're extremely young. Hormone therapy is generally chosen by older, less healthy men. And so you really can have a decision here whether you want to be treated right now or you want to continue to monitor it further. So understand the bottom line is that hormone therapy, when it's given and the PSA rises, is not a sort of a death sentence here. There's many things to do, and most patients may not be in any immediate danger. Thank you.